everybody and welcome back to the mind catchers channel today i'm going to start off this look using an eyeshadow primer i'm using milani you can use any one you want we're just going to pat that on the eye it's going to help our eyeshadow not to crease going to help it to last all day and i'm going to be using the makeup forever 15 artist eyeshadow palette and this is from their holiday collection and there will be a very quick review on this uh, video review and there will be a blog post. Now this palette comes with a little instructional booklet. I hope you guys can see that. And it gives you a few looks that you can actually do. So I'm going to tempt one of these looks using the blue and green area. All three of these shades and they are super pigmented. So I cannot wait to show you guys the complete palette. But um, I'm going to go ahead and base my eye just because I'm a darker skinned female. I just want to see if I can make those colors truly pop by basing my eye first. So I'm going to use my Painterly Paint Pot and this is from MAC. Alright, the uh, look calls for using this bluish green right here, the brightest of them. It wants me to apply it in the inner corner right to about halfway of the eye. So I'm just using a flat shader brush. This is from Sonia Kashik. I'm just going to put it there. And as you can see, these colors are like, whoa. And you see I'm kind of painting that on instead of patting it on. I'm kind of painting it on. Okay, they also want you to put it right along this bottom lash line, so I'm going to do that. Excuse my voice. The next step in this look is to use this next bluish green right here, and they want us to start applying that in the middle and start working it into the outside corner so we're blending we're meeting those colors in the center Okay, and we're going to also pull it into this bottom lash line right here in the corner. So that's what we're looking like so far. Don't get scared, guys. It's going to come together. But the colors are brilliant, very bright, beautiful colors. Okay, so I'm going to do right, this guys, eye. So that's what we right have so far. And for the last color, they're going to use this bright blue on the outside and blend. So this is very different from how I normally do uh, colors. I usually would use the brighter colors on the inside, but we're gonna see. It's a very pretty party girl look. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other eye and then we're going to add our mascara and all of that good stuff and really hook it up. Okay, so stay tuned. That's what we look like so far. I'm just going to clean up around the eye. Give it that sharpness on the outside. Anything I don't clean up right now will be cleaned up by my concealer and foundation when I apply it later. So I'm going to apply just a soft highlight color, something pretty soft, uh, one of my coastal scents, more, more of a skin tone color for my highlight, nothing crazy, because here in the booklet it doesn't show a real highlight. And I already have my concealer under my brow, so let's just go with something more skin tone. I'm just going to use this mid-tone brown right here. It's not too showy. I 
and I like how it softens things right along the top. I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to create a wing, but I'm not going to take it all the way in. I don't want to take away from the colors and everything, so I'm going to have that outside flick going on. I'm using a Delium Tools angle brush. This is the 762 brush, and this is the Rimmel London uh, gel liner I'm using in black. Alrighty guys, so that's what we look with both wings applied and we're going to use a little bit of MAC Smolder or any cold pencil you have and put that there in that waterline. Right here in the outside edges. So we're just going to use our mascara now. I'm going to apply that mainly on the bottom lash line because I'm going to be applying lashes. Alright. And these are your completed eyes. Very, very beautiful. I feel like the whole palette was worth purchasing just for the blues and the greens. Very, very pretty. So you guys look out for a complete review of that palette. I'm also going to do a blog post, get some nice pictures and some swatches for you guys. But uh, there will be a review coming up shortly. Beautiful blues and greens. If you are a teal lover, the palette is worth just that beautiful all right so let's pan out all right guys and this is the completed look on my lips i'm just using a little brown liner um a lip liner i believe that was chestnut i picked up and um as the lipstick i'm using this is a limited edition uh color pop lippy it came well they call it the lippy sticks and it came from the um uh, the Silver Lake Collection, Sundays and Silver Lake Collection. I did a review on this and swatches of all, I think it was six, that came inside of this collection. So I'll leave a link right up here for that. But it's a very pretty new color. A lot of people were asking for it to be, I hope you guys can see it. A lot of people were asking for this color to be made permanent. A lot of people like that one. So as you can see, it's like the perfect nude for deeper skin tones. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. And these statement earrings that I'm wearing right now are from Tenacious Jewelry. I'm gonna leave a link for her down below. She has a big cartel shop where she sells handmade jewelry. I'm not very crafty, so I'm not even sure how she does it, but the splashes of colors really gave me the idea for the uh, makeup look. And I was like, I know I saw a makeup look inside of this book that kind of matches the colors and the earrings. And here we are. So, you guys, give her a holler. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll leave that down below as well. So, you guys are going to see uh, some other pieces that she made coming up very shortly in my favorites video because I like them. They are very cute. All right. So, cyber kisses. And also, if you're interested in my hair, what is the mind catcher doing with her hair? It's bigger. It's fluffier. This is Her Given Hair. That's the name of the company. They sell natural hair extensions, clip-ins, as well as closures and wefted hair. So you guys go ahead and check them out. All of their info will be down below. And I'm also going to be leaving the link to their video right up here where I reviewed it, showed you how I created this wig, how I blended my hair in with it. So you don't want to miss that. And there will be more videos pumping out this week. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. Bye.